and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then my name is Soph and today's video is should you do an EPQ? So I did do an EPQ. Um, mine was on the Drake equation, which predicts the number of intelligent civilizations in the Milky Way. So back to the question. The short answer, if you have the time, then yes, you should. Some universities will give you a lower offer if you do well in it. So they might say, if you get an A in your EPQ, then your offer goes from three A's to two A's and a B, for example. But even if your university doesn't offer a grade drop, then it's still a brilliant super curricula, which shows that you are committed to your subject. Um, and it's a brilliant talking point for if you did have an interview. Um, I know I talked about my EPQ in my interview at Cambridge. Um, it also allows you to research a topic that you are interested in, um, whereas in your A-levels it's a bit more dictated to you what you learn about, whereas this is an opportunity to literally pick anything that interests you and you can research it. You learn a lot of skills which are both good for you and good for applications, um, for uni, jobs, etc. Um, you should find it quite fun. Um, I mean, I know I definitely did, which also demonstrates your love for the subject. You know, if you are loving your EPQ, then that's a really good sign that you've picked the right subject. It also counts as half an A-level, so if you're trying to get up UCAS points, then maybe something to consider. However, it is a reasonable commitment, although it is definitely doable. I did four A-levels, Gold DAV and an EPQ. Um, yes, one of my A-levels was further maths, so some people would say it's three and a half A-levels, but regardless, um, I do think I did more than the average person, but it is definitely still doable. I still went out, I still saw my friends, I successfully applied to Cambridge, you can definitely still do it. Um, and it's quite different to A-levels, which is kind of nice because it's a bit of a breath of fresh air. But it also requires a bit of adjustment, particularly if, like me, you are taking more science-based A-levels where you're not used to writing essays because for most EPQs you will be required to write approximately a 5,000 word essay. Um, also, if you don't have a good supervisor, then it can be harder. But there is loads of information online, including the specification and mark scheme, which are really helpful regardless of how good your supervisor is, because ultimately that is what they're going to be using to mark you. So basically you can go through the criteria and make sure that you tick off each thing. Um, at times the specification can be a little bit restrictive and generally I think it caters more to humanities subjects than science subjects. Um, I remember talking to my supervisor and he said basically your topic title needs to be something like how far blah or to what extent blah which is quite difficult for the sciences because they're a bit more black and white um, so there isn't as much room for opinions which is a lot of what an EPQ is about so I really struggled to find a good title however lots of people do do very well in science-based EPQs so it's not a massive thing to worry about um but uh, just be aware that if you are a science student you might find it ever so slightly harder than a friend who's doing a humanities subject um so that's basically everything i've got to say about epqs um again the short answer is yes they are a brilliant thing to do and i think if you are watching this video you're clearly considering it quite seriously in which case, yes, I think you should do it. Um, ultimately, if it's too much, you can always drop it. But I found mine really good fun. I found it really interesting. And I got to talk about it in my interview. So basically, in summary, yes, you probably should do an EPQ. Um, so if you are interested and it's something that your school haven't approached you about, then definitely go talk to them. At my school we had to go to the teacher um, because my school isn't particularly into doing EPQs. They were like, no, we'd rather you just focus on your A-levels and get good grades. But if you went to the teacher specifically and said, I want to do an EPQ, 
then nine times out of ten they went that's absolutely fine um, and basically you're allowed to do it so if you like this video please make sure to like and subscribe and thank you for watching